Hello, my name is Evan Rupp, the CEO and co-founder of Oxos Medical. It's my pleasure to present Oxos in the micro -C here today at XTech 5. Current X-ray solutions are large, slow, and cumbersome and create huge amounts of radiation. Their size, shielding, and training requirements make them incapable of being deployed to many environments. Oxos Medical is the manufacturer of micro -C, a handheld DDR device that puts intelligent X-ray imaging in the palm of your hand. Our device allows the Army to deploy life-saving X-ray and DDR technology to Echelon 1, 2, and 3. Current X-ray technology, such as the C-arm displayed here, is cumbersome, slow, and bulky. As you can see, these are room-scale devices. They're huge, up to 800 pounds or more. They have high radiation doses. Sometimes they have scatter clouds of 26 feet and they require the use of lead-lined rooms, among a ton of other personal protective equipment. High radiation dose and size really limit the places where they can be deployed. You almost always need a second person, usually a, a rad tech or at least an assistant, to operate them. Moving them around a surgery center is hard, and transporting them somewhere else, you know, into the field or the clinic or something like that, is just not practical. My co-founder, Dr. Greg Kolovich, is a practicing orthopedic surgeon in Savannah, Georgia. He was frustrated by these devices and that's why he created the Micro-C. Micro-C is the world's first handheld DDR. DDR is dynamic digital radiography, a super low dose moving x-ray image. The device was designed to be used in the orthopedic environment. The key idea is if, if you have a handheld device, you can pick it up and put it down, integrating seamlessly into your current workflow. The design has a new x-ray tube that allows us to do some very interesting things. First of all, we get, have best-in-class image quality. The clarity and sharpness from the device is just incredible. The x-ray tube allows us to emit 80% less radiation dose than the closest competitor, the Mini-C. This is a huge plus for both the safety of the operator, staff, and the patient. Additionally, the device has been designed to be super easy to use. You really can't take a bad x-ray with Micro-C. We've designed some really clever safety systems. So even if you're not aligned properly, the device just won't take an x-ray. It keeps everybody safe. Civilian applications are far and wide. Our primary markets are ambulatory surgery centers and hospitals, but we're getting a ton of interest from things like emergency rooms, ambulance, urgent care, rural medicine, home health care. The device is so virtual, versatile that we reach over a $50 billion market. X-ray is the base medical imaging modality and our ability to make it safer and accessible really opens up a huge number of applications for our device. It's so versatile, we actually won the NASA iTech Award in 2019 for our efforts around bone density. We've been integrated into some telemedical solutions. We've had interest for COVID-19 screening. Disaster relief is something where we think we're, our device could be really, really impactful. We've been involved in just a huge number of different applications. So, a little bit of background about Oxos. We were founded in 2016 by Dr. Kolovich and myself. We've grown into an organization of 26 employees with a full research and development department and a clinical operations staff. We are an ISO 13485 compliant medical device manufacturer. And you know, last time we presented, we were still working on our regulatory process. But as of January 12th of this year, I'm happy to announce that we have gotten our FDA clearance. And so we are, we are cleared to be out there in the market. We've actually started deploying devices and selling devices. We're on pace to place about 80 units this year. That's a, that brings our revenue to somewhere around $6 million. We're really excited about the reception of the device and its opportunities in the civilian market. And we're also very excited about opportunities bringing the device into the Army. The impact on the Army is huge. Having a device like the Micro-C, a, a low cube deploy, deployment, you're looking at hundreds and hundreds of pounds of weight savings, not to mention crate and volume. So the idea, uh, especially at cash, at cash, is you can open up access to real-time imaging to physicians that are on staff. Currently, there's some x-ray, there's some CT, but these are really static imaging modalities. With Micro-C, you can be really effective with Reboa, center lines, chest tubes, all sorts of procedures that have huge impact on warfighter war survival and recovery. Images taken within seconds can enable a rapid assessment and stabilization plans without the delays associated with CT. And the dynamic capability is really where the device sets itself apart with Reboa. But there's early use of chest and pelvic imaging to make sure you can identify and reduce hemorrhaging events. 
uh, internal bleeding. Sometimes you, you've got uh, a lot of applications around long bone anatomy for fracture stabilization. I mean, the device just has potential for an absolutely huge impact. And then moving to Echelon 2 uh, in, within the FST, right now these guys have ultrasound. And while that's better than nothing, it's not really sufficient for diagnosis and treatment of the types of injuries you're going to be encountering at that level. Currently, default treatment for musculoskeletal injuries is, is an EVAC. Uh, given that they've got ultrasound, that really is the best you can really, really do. But with a solution like MicroC, uh, a handheld dynamic imaging device, diagnostic best practices can be immediately applied by FST personnel and triage determinations can be made instantaneously. Extremity and orthopedic injuries that typically require removing the soldier from duty can instead be evaluated for severity and, and more appropriate treatment activities can be executed. An example would be something like a, a femoral fracture, tibia and fibular fractures, dislocations, hand and foot injuries, things of that nature. In the case of more severe, uh, injuries, you're talking about like long bone fractures or things like that, field surgeons can begin treatment immediately, stabilizing the injury with external fixators under direct x-ray guidance. It really would be uh, an increase in, in availability there. And finally, we're, we're talking about Echelon 1 capability. Imagine bringing advanced triage and diagnostic capabilities right to the unit level. You would be empowering combat med medics to execute treatment and diagnosis right then and there. Just as we've seen with EMTs and civilian applications, having the high av highly available handheld diagnostic right at the point of injury. They're able to provide better treatment and, and even more important, better advanced information for, for people to consume up the care chain. It's just a huge increase in capability. Finally, uh, we'd like to talk about augmenting a number of uh, the telehealth initiatives that are going on. With in initiatives like BATDOC at Wright-Patterson and TATRC within the Medical Intelligence Systems Laboratory, these distributed observation systems plug right into other wider DOD and Army pieces, and MicroC can be part and parcel of those initiatives. Uh, it can be used to really further advance these systems by giving people X-ray and DDR right where they are, available to push diagnostic information up to make treatment decisions that might, that might be beyond the person using the device itself. This would not work only on the battlefield, but anywhere where wider specialized treatment is needed without worrying about the physical and location constraints. Another unique thing about MicroC and telehealth is the way that it could help contribute to better image management. Uh, making sure that the diagnostic pictures travel with the soldier through the care chain through echelon one, two, and three, that they're identified correctly and not lost, that can be challenging. With a connected device like MicroC and, and some of these telehealth initiatives that are already underway, you can streamline all those processes and make sure the available, the information is available exactly when you need it. Finally, our engagement within the Army is growing. We have our OXOS Military Medical Advisory Board. Uh, this consists of a number of soldiers and physicians across the branches of the military that help us understand where the device can make the most impact, which features are important, and where the frustrations and opportunity lies within the military. We're looking forward to building up the design and manufacturing of the device to, make, to meet the 810H standard. That's a, a big, <laughs> that's a major undertaking, but you know, we know that it'll make a much better device for both the Army and our more difficult civilian applications as well. And finally, we started to work with ADS to shape our distribution strategy. Uh, ADS has been super helpful in, in guiding us through the Army supply chain and helping discover what we need to do to serve Army customers, not only just with the current device, but also to understand where to invest our development resources to serve all Army customers in the future. We're looking forward to working with U.S. Army Medical Department to deploy the device and to shape its future development. I'd like to say thank you for your time and attention and really appreciate the opportunity to present OXOS and the MicroC here at XTech 5. Thank you very much.